Um, hi everyone, God bless you all. Uh, so um, uh, there's something that has been troubling me so terribly and I am actually very sorry that this video is coming out late. It should have been out before the Big Brother show um, started. I was just informed that the Big Brother show already started Big Brother Africa or something like that or Nigeria, I don't know which one. But here is what I need to talk about. I am outraged. I am very disgusted. I am very angry. And the reason I am angry is because God is even more angry. He is furious. At the rate at which we just perfunctorily look at things that are very spiritually sensitive. And I'm talking about Christians, especially my Nigerian Christians. Come to think of it. As far as I am concerned, for as long as I have been alive, I have never in my entire life seen anything as disgusting and as nauseating and as repulsive as the Big Brother show. The Big Brother show is the most satanic filth I've ever seen in all my entire years on this earth, on television. And guess what? It is Christians who are patronizing this nonsense. Do you know what the Big Brother show is all about? If you are a parent, if you are a young person, can you listen to me? Do you know what the Big Brother show is all about? Do a little research on the Big Brother show. You will find out that the Big Brother show took its name and they don't hide it. It's out there. Just do a simple research. It took its name from George Orwell's book, 1984. Look up George Orwell's 1984. It is about a big brother that monitors you and follows you about wherever you go. It means that freedom is there. You are not supposed to have an idea of your own. You are not supposed to be free. They are supposed to create a boundary like a wall, a fence in your brain. So psychologically you are enslaved. Living in a police state, living in a prison planet. This is exactly what the Antichrist wants to do when he comes to this earth. That's why there's going to be cameras everywhere. Your devices are going to monitor you. Your home is going to monitor you. Everywhere you go, you cannot have freedom. You can't have anything. This is pure mind control programming going on with the Big Brother show. Is this what you pay your money to watch? This is all about Lucifer's preparation of mankind for his reign through the Antichrist. And this is what we pay our money to watch. Do you know what they do? Have you been watching the Big Brother for some time? Did you see that they don't hide it? They flash on the screen the one eye symbol. Even a child in primary school today knows the symbol, the meaning of the one eye. The one eye is the evil eye of Lucifer, which a lot of people know today as the it's the symbol of Illuminati. They flash it on the screen. You watch it, you don't care. They flash it right on the screen in front of you. And you're laughing, watching. Watching stupidity, watching foolishness. And now they use the show to introduce all kinds of absurdities. All kinds of immoral behavior. And they're giving it to your children. And you are eating it up. Even you pastors. Even you church leaders, you watch it. You go and hide and watch it. You cannot come out in front of your church and boldly tell your church members that anybody who does this is offending God, is destroying and wasting the resources that God has given them. Why can't you pastors and bishops go in front of your churches and instruct your church members and tell them to go and call DSTV or whoever the service provider is, tell them to block that stupid channel that is releasing this, this wicked vibe and wicked energy into people's homes. Do you know how many of our young people are going to end up masturbating just by watching this nonsense? Go to my Facebook page. Just yesterday, Sunday, I did an exclusive seminar on the spiritual implications of masturbation. It is still fresh on my Facebook page, Joseph Okechuku. Go and watch it and see the kind of massive revelation that God gave about masturbation. These things that you're looking at, this wickedness is also going to help to promote masturbation amongst our youths. Parenthood is not all about having money to buy TV screens on every single room in your house. 
Parenthood is not being able to provide money for the children to eat every day and go to school. It is being able to monitor them and make sure that the moral values that the Bible teaches, that they are exchewed in this, that they are imbued in these children. You as a parent, you are supposed to be a caretaker. The children you have are not your children. They belong to God. You are going to have to give an account to the Most High God on how you have taken care of your family. And you allow your children, mommy I want to watch you, let them go. And they are, your teenagers are all gone. Watching useless stupid things. They are selling. Do you know, these people have seen this now as a platform. They, you know what it, you know what they are doing with Big Brother Show? They are molding rats. You know rats that are in a cage being used for experiment. This is the mentality that they are transferring to the masses. Getting you ready for when the Antichrist comes because it's around the corner. This is what they are doing. That's why they have all the symbols and everything. And now they use it to promote homosexuality. They use it to promote lesbianism. They're going to use it to promote transgender. Who knows what they have for this year? Or maybe it's going to be a transgender kind of thing. They promote it and you think it's just people stay. All those inmates are prisoners. Prisoners in the prison that need help. And you are watching them and you call it entertainment. How? If you know you know God, if the unbelievers don't care, if people of other faiths don't care, that's their business. If you are a Christian and you know you are a true Christian and you are a child of God, call DSTV now. Let them block the channel. If we all block this useless channel that is doing Big Brother, we will bankrupt them and they will stop this satanic filth. And they will stop letting it come into our homes. Parents need to wise up. Very soon it's going to be Valentine. Do you know the history of Valentine? Do you know the history of Valentine? Even churches now are celebrating Valentine in a Christian way. We Christianize all kinds of satanic, satanic pagan practices. We Christianize them and make them look okay. And we need to invite all the people so that our people will not go to the worldly one. Let them come to the Christian version of Valentine. What is Valentine? Valentine is a pagan worship, a pagan ceremony that is been where they celebrate Lu Lu Lupercalia. And the Greek version of Lupercalia is Pan. Go to Google and Google the God Pan. P A N. The God, small g God Pan. Google it. The God Pan on Google image and see the image they show you. The same Pan is the one that in this modern time comes as a Baphomet. It has is a half goat and half human. A pagan satanic god that is the god of sexual perversion. You can see the image on Google. You will see where it, the god is having sex with a goat. That's why every time Valentine comes, you see all kinds of unwanted pregnancies, teen pregnancies, 8-year-old pregnancy, 13-year-old pregnancy everywhere. It is the spirit. No matter how you try to package it, the spirit will always take his glory on that day. Not your god. Not my god. Can we stand up for what is right? Can we please stand up and make God proud a little bit? Can we stop all this, all this hypocrisy? Can we stop all this hypocrisy? If you were God, how will you feel about all these things that we do today? How will you feel? May God have mercy on us. Thank you guys. Sorry, but thank you.